If you have received a 3x4 electric ray sander from Surf Rep Sanding here in Southern California or in North, Car uh, North Carolina, and it's a non-vac tool and you want to convert it to a central vac tool, we're going to show you what you need to do. On your item number, the part number, the item number on the box that you received is going to be SPES3X4. That stands for Surf Prep Electric Sander 3x4. When the tool is converted and when we put all the exhaust parts on it, we just add a CV at the end. That CV means central vacuum. All right, let's get into it. Here's the tool. We're going to pull the 3x4 electric ray out. In the box are four 2.5 millimeter pad screws for your red surf prep backup pad. In that box is the tool. One of the first things we're going to do is remove these side plugs. These little red, uh, rubber side plugs, get a small bladed screwdriver, pop them right out. The next thing we need to do, we need to remove the back exhaust plate. This is on the tool because there's no vacuum obviously. But we're going to remove this exhaust plate. We're going to put a small bladed screwdriver between this black plate and the body of the housing and pop that out just like that. If you want to see a pretty cool thing, um, now that that plate's off, I'll show you a cool thing. This here is the rear pad support. This pad support moves. If you can see that, it moves and it moves with the rotation or the counterbalance of the motor that's what gives you that three millimeter action so you just got to see something that most people don't see that don't convert to central vac all right what's in the sack what's in the bag we've got two bags this one i already mentioned we have four of the 2.5 millimeter red foam backup pad screws when we grab our conversion kit this is the conversion kit to take a non-vac 3x4 to a central vac. That item number, if you need to order it, is SPES 3X4 CVCK. What that means is Surf Prep Electric Sander 3x4 Central Vacuum Conversion Kit. That's real Harvard. That's real Harvard, not USC. That's Harvard. All right, so then inside this here, we've got our bolt. We've got a nut, two vacuum side plates, our three by four uh, foam backup pad hook and loop, and our exhaust throat. We're gonna start by putting our exhaust throat on the back end of the tool. We're gonna slide this right into this little notch. We're going to align this front end of the exhaust throat into the hole on the back of the tool and just push this in. You got to kind of work it a little bit and it slides right in. Then we're going to grab our nut and put this nut in this hex slot. Like you see there, keep your finger over it. Put the bolt in the opposite side. Take a 2.5 millimeter hex head Allen wrench. Snug that down while your finger's on the other side. Put it back in the head. And to tighten it down to where you feel some resistance, you're done. Our next step is we're going to take these side plates. Real easy to put in. You can't make a mistake. There's three larger holes on top, four smaller ones on the bottom. Lay it right over there and press those right in to the side of the housing. Flip the tool over. <clears throat> do the same exact thing on the opposite side. Once you've done that, you're going to grab your backup pad that has the four vacuum holes in it. Grab those four 2.5 millimeter screws, lay your tool down. I'm going to grab my electric torque wrench just to make this quicker. Uh, I was doing a video earlier and I tried to screw some of the parts in. I had it in reverse and I'm like wondering why isn't this working? So pay attention. Screw that right down into the pad. Make sure your holes are aligned. The female threads in that pad are brass. You want to make sure that your alignment is correct because we don't want to strip those brass threads out. We're going to go to the rear. Same thing on the left rear. And then we're going to go to the right rear. 
and you have a 3x4 <clears throat> central vac electric ray sander ready to be hooked up to either our vacuum or any other vacuum so you have clean sanding and then you're getting through your work with less labor and less material cost. There's your conversion.